He states that time blocking allows you to focus and allocate your time to specific activity. In having an amazing week, this is very crucial. What does it take to have an amazing week? What does it really take to achieve your goals and really be who you are and get to where you're going? So today I'm going to share with you an amazing and mind-blowing tricks if you want to have a successful week. I have some little tools with me here today, which is this. You plan having an amazing week. You plan having a very productive, non procrastinated week. If you really plan to be successful, you're going to put the work. And today I'm going to share with you an amazing mind blowing tricks to have a successful, productive week. Of course, we all know that to get to where we're aiming for, it's all about our little step. It's all about not stopping no matter how slow we're going so with me today i have some few tools because you're gonna get practical i have this with me you'll be needing this and also you'll be needing your diary and of course a pen so let's get started let's really really get started to what we're here today before the end of this video you're gonna know why the stickers paper is very important in having a very productive week and of course why your diary is like the manual throughout the week we have your stick paper sticker paper you have your pen and you have the diary this is all things we make here in my table so let's get started with me today i'm going to share with you seven amazing mind blowing tricks that really harness your effectiveness within the week this have been helping me and i don't see any reason why i shouldn't share it with you because believe me the sky is big enough for everyone to be successful the very first role in having a productive beautiful amazing week it's number one review and reflection at the end of each week reviewing your achievement and area of improvement help refine your planning strategy for the future reflection is a critical component of continuous improvement and personal growth john dewey an educational reformer states this we do not learn from experience we learn from reflecting from our experience in implementing the review and reflection strategy it gets you to you know think about the whole process the whole approaches the do's and the don'ts you actually took during your previous week and what better ways what better strategy to harness and implement for an effective productive week and this is where your diary is very very important and, um, let's say if you have a specific goal on learning tennis like let's use an illustration of you have a specific goal of learning about tennis and but if you think about the previous week you start reflecting the previous week what were you able to achieve um have you commenced your registration you have a personal coach have you got your tennis kits like small little things that can actually help you in your new week you reflect so reviewing is very crucial knowing what was essential reviewing your past week you know you already know what really worked and what really didn't work for you planning for the new week you write out tiny important strategy that will really help you that will enhance and really help you out in your new week writing those things down and assigning obviously scheduling those important strategies and fixing a deadline within those new weeks so from monday to sunday or from sunday to saturday depending on how your week works for you for me personally my week start out on every sunday and end on every saturday so before i get to sunday every saturday i've already every saturdays before i go to bed i've already write out my to-do list and what my week calendar is gonna look like and that's it for the essence of review and reflection with your calendar diary and of course your notebook whatever on the second important note the second important role today is setting a specific clear goal you need your clarity you need specification you need certainty when it comes to having a very productive week you don't want when your week started you just cut off you're overwhelmed you're breaking down you're crying you know it's all about moving even if it's in the in the, in the smallest of pace even if, no matter how slow the most important thing is you keep 
moving. Defining specific achievable goals for the week is crucial. Do well to align your tasks and these goals to stay focused on what truly really matters. Let me refer you to the research by Locke and Letter in 2002, which clearly indicates that setting a specific goal increases motivation and productivity. As a clearly state, goal provides a sense of purpose and direction, which of course enhances performance. Going to the third important rule is prioritizing tasks. Using prioritization techniques or methods like Esteem Howard's matrix help you rank tasks by importancy and urgency. This ensures that very important and crucial tasks are really performed first. Let me refer you to a study by Harvard Business Review, which emphasizes that prioritizing tasks leads to better time management and higher productivity. This method, of course, helps you to focus on what is most important and crucial, reducing stress, overwhelmness, and increasing efficiency and effectiveness. Here we go, because I told you we're going to be very practical. And um, in prioritizing tasks, this is where this this is where one of the sticker is very important and i love using different color stickers so here if i really want to prioritize my tag especially in scale of order i have to use this for instance to really point out even if it's five or even if it's two important tags that i definitely will achieve this week so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna write out the two important tasks here even though i've already scheduled all or most of them here these are voluminous things i really want to achieve today that's what goes into my diary but the most specific one that are very crucial that are very important i achieve this very week to face my performance and productivity i write it out you pick up the paper if you have one and write out probably depends on you um two or five most important thing you have to definitely achieve that week and what i usually do is i don't press it randomly i do go stick it somewhere especially in my um mirror dressing mirror or in my wardrobe so i get to consciously see it anytime any day it's all about these two places so and when i'm done i take it out for the next week that's how you dress and have a productive week we're going to the fourth important role in having an amazing productive beautiful week going for that the fourth rule is time block important tasks this is very essential and in time blocking you remember when we are doing something in our diary let's say you listed 20 things or patterns you want to achieve in that particular week you have to put a certain deadline that's really what time blocking important tax really mean about fixing time fixing it's like time blocking it because you know why going back to those going back to the second rule which is setting clear specific goals making a reference to this first rule via time blocking important tax you know you have to really fix the time so really really fix the time to whatever thing you need you might also want to go back to your stick paper in which you stipulated your main important crucial goal for that very week because suddenly a dedicated time block for your most important taxes increases a routine and help avoid distractions according to Carl newport the author of deep work he states that time blocking allows you to focus and allocate your time to specific activity helping you to improve focus and productivity okay you might wonder how you can work well with um certain targets and try and meet deadlines you know for some people this usually comes with overwhelmness a kind of pressure and this is gonna take us to the fifth important crucial role which is why you will be needing this this pink stickers you know there is a saying that all work not play makes jack a dull boy obviously and in order to enhances your productivity while maintaining good mental health and, and healthy work habits you need this this is where your pink stick has this is where your second stick paper comes in you remember this is the main crucial paper we're going to use for the week now for these stickers it, it should be that nothing in heaven and nothing in earth will prevent this goal from coming to 
reality and for this this is just a kind of um of a middleman here that will really help this first sticker come to actualization and the last stickers so the things and the last stickers in the elastic paper to really be amazing and really work out well so here we, we're here we're gonna include bricks and fawn black what is the amazing things you're gonna write here amazing things you're gonna write here is let me say your rewards so if this comes to realization what are you going to gift or how do you want to celebrate so if this comes to actualization your goals your main goals come to actualization what are you going to reward yourself with not just what are you going to reward yourself with include your phone include your breaks here because planning for regular breaks and leisure activities prevent burnout and keeps you motivated throughout the week research from the university of illinois found that taking breaks can significantly enhances overall productivity and creativity because you know what breaks for moment helps your brain to rest and rejuvenate leading to a better performance so do yourself a favor of including the, the whole phone the whole breaks trying to obviously strip the sense of trying to tell yourself you're gonna sleep for minimum of six hours if you really want to have a productive week you can go as far as including probably good meals and anything that you know within those days you you do that will really enhance the nice working day performance and of course when you achieve this which is your main goal even though you have your to-do list in your calendar or in your diary this is going to save you then this will take us to our sixth row before we go back to when why we need the last tip paper which is this so the sixth law is be flexible, it's being flexible. It's important you are very flexible because you don't want to encounter overwhelmness, uh, pressure or break burnout, breakdown, you know. So be flexible, know when to switch, know when to even arrange your tax. Why having a plan is crucial. Be prepared to adapt it as needed is important. Your own expected events can occur, of course. You don't know what is going to happen the next minute. You just predict this is going to happen the next minute. But certainly, you don't know. You can't forecast the future because you are not even a fortune teller. And even fortune teller don't even forecast what is going to happen to them. Flexibility allows you to adjust without getting stressed. The American Psychological Association highlights that flexibility in planning is a key component of resilience and stress management. Be flexible, know when to switch up things without without changing your specific goal, without changing the main specific goal, you have to achieve that very week, and without compromising your fun and rest moments. And then this leads us to the final rule, which is why we need this stick paper, which is the final rule, which is minimizing distractions. You know, creating a conducive work environment by eliminating distraction is crucial and very vital. So, in this stick paper, write out the possible weaknesses, the possible threats, the possible challenges you might encounter. Obviously, you know we are just predicting, right? You might just encounter and cut it off. Treat every challenges and threat as a kind of a distraction and of course once you write this thing out you really prepare your mind on overcoming that and when you see something that looks obviously like a distraction or a kind of a challenge or a problem or a threat you know how to you know how to apply wisdom and you know how to really really encounter it win over them Turn off non-essential notification and set specific time to check emails and social medias. It depends on what is your own distractions. Study by Gorilla Mark at the University of California shows that reducing distraction can dramatically improve focus and productivity. And of course, that's where you belong. That's where you have to be. That's really what's going to make so much sense if you really want to have a productive work. Why your stick papers is very important, especially if they cut some colors. And why your pen, your diary, Jota, having a scheduling is very important in having a productive week. Do well to share under the comment section if there's any other thing you're doing to really help you achieve a productive week. You know, people reading comment sections and people want to learn more to really improve 
you know, people are really focusing on self-improvement just like myself and who also want to know and if you liked this video and you want to see more of this video want to see more videos like this do well to you know do well to please subscribe and turn on your post notification it's crucial you turn on your post notification of course feel free to share to any of your loved one or someone you want to see at the top it is actually free it is free to share like and subscribe to this channel trust me all right with that do it to have an amazing meal ahead of you do it to check the video over here and over here kisses catch you in my next video and bye period